St. Martin's Diocesan School presents The Journey of Fifty Years The Humble Beginning The year 1960 St. Martin's Church, the 160 feet tall building running under the aegis of the Diocese of Delhi of the Church of North India stood tall and majestic defining the dense forested area of the contunement of Delhi. The majestic sanctuary was designed by Arthur Gordon Shoesmith in 1928 and was made up of three and a half million bricks, with the inside resembling a basilica. It was God's supreme plan to instill the vision of setting up a school in this calm and serene contunement area of New Delhi in the mind of a noble educationist, Miss Helen Jerwood. The British missionary and educationist had come to India in her younger years with a zeal and determination and set up numerous educational institutions in the country, including old institutions of the Diocese of Delhi. It was when she attained the ripe old age of 80 years that the pioneer British missionary gave shape to her vision in 1960 with strong determination and undying spirit. A glimpse into the early years. Miss Jerwood bicycled to the nearby areas and canvassed herself of the new school and urged the parents to send their children to her school. She faced many struggles in the initial years of setting up the school. However, she overcame each hurdle with determination and with the strong support of the Right Reverend F. R. Willis, the Bishop of Delhi Diocese during that time. The awe-inspiring exchanges between Miss Jerwood and Bishop F. R. Willis that soothed out initial struggles and established the institution. Excerpts from the letters exchanged between her and the Bishop brings glimpses of the difficulties braved due to sheer strength of mind. 7th August 1960 The church was entirely surrounded by water when it was time to go home. There was no brick to make stepping stones. The drainage was under the church. The paths were like canals. The priest suggested that the bishop be contacted 11th November 1960 Can't get anyone to make us a playground. Things are really difficult. 21st November 1960 I'm getting more and more distressed about things here. There was a ray of hope at the dawn of the next year when she wrote to the bishop on the 16th January 1961. We are having many new pupils I want to find a responsible person to come and take fees in January when we reopen. This was, however, followed by disappointments and dampened spirits, as the subsequent letters to the bishop reveal. Braving the frailties and weaknesses of old age, she carried her zeal and commitment with vigor and enthusiasm till the very end. Miss Helen Jerwood was called to God's glory and eternal rest when she was 85 and on the 3rd April 1965, bringing an end to the passion and spirit of the determined British educationist who chose to remain in India and raise its educational standards. Thus, St. Martin's Diocesan School lost its protective mother, who nurtured it till her very end. A peek into the past. True to the school motto, light begets light, the flame that she kindled passed on. Years rolled on and the school attained its landmarks. 1982 to 1983, the school got its recognition for classes 1 to 8 by the Directorate of Education, New Delhi. 1987 to 1988, the school got recognized from the middle to secondary level 
and its affiliation to the Central Board of Secondary Education, making Class 10 CBSE Board exams a reality. 1991 to 1992, the school leapt forward as it got its recognition and thereafter affiliation to the CBSE, raising its status to a full-fledged senior secondary school. A look into the recent years. The dynamic principal manager of the school, Dr. A. D. Lyle, took on the reins of this institution in April 2005 amidst many a struggle and continues to steer it on with the strong support and encouragement of the school chairman, Bishop Sunil Kumar Singh, the Bishop of the Diocese of Delhi. They share a poignant moment in front of the stone which marks the honour and respect for the late founder, shouldering the responsibilities of taking this beautiful institution forward. The school attained financial stability under the astute administrative prowess of its new leader. The platform was set for attaining new glory and the school has grown in leaps and bounds ever since. The School Pipe Band, set up in the year 2005, has displayed remarkable performances to captivate many an audience over the past five years. They peaked when the band comprising the array of bagpipers and drummers were crowned the Zonal Champions last year. Last month, they added another glory to their cap as they proved their brilliance by successfully defending their title, becoming the Zonal Champions for the second year in succession. Trained by a professional and experienced bandmaster, they continue to bring laurels and enthrall their audiences. This year, an additional brass band has been set up and the students are gaining proficiency in clarinet and saxophone. The students' choir has enthralled many an audience by their melodious numbers rendered in harmony. The students' music band set up last year has already rendered exquisite performances, showcasing the tapping of the latent talents of the budding Martiners. The Arts Department has created works of wonder and has achieved laurels on many an occasion. They have displayed and exhibited their artwork, selling out items to raise funds for the school and gained much appreciation. With enhanced transport facility and a trained school nurse to attend to the immediate medical needs, the school achieved rapid progress. The well-equipped laboratories caters to the needs of the increased number of students, which almost doubled in strength in the recent years. Keeping abreast with the changing times, the CCTV aided the heightened security by the deployment of security guards at the gate and in school. Karate was introduced this year to ignite the spirit for self-defense. Armed by their trained and agile bodies, the young and spirited Knights of Valor ward off mountains of obstacles with ease. The Martiners have their personalities chiseled in their school, which continues to be the grooming platform to shape their destiny. Showcasing their talents in diverse spheres, our young budding stars have tasted success and crave for more. Retaining and sharpening the academic excellence, which has been a Martiner's fortress over the years, the Martiners continue to scale newer heights as the years roll on. The quest for overall excellence has resulted in our talented stars displaying their splendor, excelling in intra-school and inter-school participations in various fields, be it literary, art or sports. The swimming star of St. Martin's, Nithya Bisht, has surpassed them all with her glorious feats. Propelled by the constant encouragement from the school management and her principal through full and regular scholarships, Nithya Bisht, the swimming star, bloomed and blossomed, bringing in repeated glory year after year. She reaped continuous laurels in CBSE and Delhi State swimming events 
and has continuously represented the Junior National Swimming Championships. Seconds away from the bronze medal, Nithya had participated in the Commonwealth Trials in her swimming event and moves on steadily ahead to realize her dreams to represent our nation in an international event. I have received a lot of encouragement from my principal sir. I am proud to be a matiner. I wish to bring more laurels to my school. The first formal, full-fledged school magazine, Martiner's Blazon, was released in 2007 proclaiming that the Martiners are enveloped by the gift of God's abounding love and grace, thus encouraging the release of the second edition. The highly qualified and resourceful staff of St. Martins continue to be the propelling force behind the success of the Martiners. Multifaceted to the core and adept in diverse spheres, they create a spirit in the young to excel the versatile staff choir has rendered memorable performances on many an occasion over the many years and continue to mesmerize the young and old. A Martina leaves this institution in search of higher pastures with the message, Be not dismayed, whatever be tied. God will take care of you. Beneath the wings of love abide. He will take care of you ringing in the ears, propelling him on and urging him to take on the extra mile. We take pride in each and every one of our alumni. A few representations of our success story tell it all. Naveen Kumar, Class 12, 1995, Scientist, Baba Atomic Research Center. Dr. Ritu Goyal, Class 12, 1998, Senior Anesthetist, Deen Dayal Upadhyay Hospital, New Delhi, Dr. Dharamveer Singh Rana, Class 12, 2000, MD Dermatology, Ram Manohar Lohia Hospital, New Delhi, Captain Amandeep Singh, Class 12, 1998, Intelligence Officer, Indian Army, Vidhi and Nidhi Sharma, Class 12, 2001. Project Executives PRM Program, Social Media MRM Worldwide are a few of our thousands of Martiners who have made a mark for themselves within India and abroad. Thus the light, kindled in 1960, continues to shine bright through our alumni who reflect the glory of their alma mater. On this Golden Jubilee year, I, Neha Das, feel extremely proud and elated to be the college captain of St. Martin's Diocesan School. I now feel honoured to state on the behalf of all my fellow Martiners that every Martiner is born to fly, to fly high with no heights to spare. So let us all now spread our wings out wide and reach out to the heavens up there. Coordinating this Golden Jubilee event has been an extremely gratifying experience. It is a blessing to be a part of this noble institution. Such an event brings into focus the latent talents of our students and the efforts of our staff. To one and all for making this program a success. I feel humble that I hold the reins of this glorious institution. It was a God supreme plan that he put me here to use me as a tool by which he can shape and mold this institution. It was a challenging and a daunting task to pull this institution out of its financial shackle in 2005. It has given me great joy and satisfaction to ensure that we gain financial stability, all the while ensuring that there is a continuous growth in academics as well as co-curricular activities. It is a pleasure to watch this beautiful school which is the only Christian minority co-educational senior secretary in this vicinity grow in repute in this capital city of Delhi. As we have just portrayed, we have achieved so much that we thirst for more. There is another daunting task lying on ahead. We've been able to overcome all challenges except one. In our Golden Jubilee year, in spite of our glorious tradition, we still function in the old army style barrack building. 
it has been a long challenge for this beautiful institution of the Diocese of Delhi. It is my endeavor to pursue this matter and we are making steady progress. It has been a constant struggle but with your continued support and encouragement, we are now hopefully proceeding towards the final stages of materializing our building plans. We are thankful to our Honorable Defence Minister, Mr. A.K. Anthony, for the concern that he has shown to the school. Ever since, we have been moving on ahead with the renewed spirits and we have reached the final phase in our quest to obtain the requisite lease to enable us to materialize our dream project of an ultra-modern, three-story school building with a swimming pool using the latest technology within this glorious campus. I would like to ensure all our dear parents that I will try to do my utmost to ascertain that the building plans are implemented. Every martinier trusts the word of God, which assures us that he is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine. Therefore, we march on with faith on this golden jubilee year with an assurance that God will ensure that our plans are realized. As we continue to celebrate our glorious golden moments, I congratulate all my dedicated staff, the employees, all my dear students, parents and all the well-wishers of our institution who have put in their best efforts to support us in this noble undertaking. If each one is a precious tool in God's hand. Therefore, let us continue to function as a unit. May our Lord shower on each one of you incomparable riches of His grace. This beautiful institution has evolved rapidly into a prestigious institution and is the pride of the Diocese of Delhi. I am extremely delighted to observe that God has placed a dynamic principal manager to care for the school. Under his able and astute leadership and the efforts of the capable and experienced staff, the talented students have reaped in much glory for the school. And on this occasion, the Golden Jubilee of St. Martin Diocesan School, I congratulate the principal manager, Dr. A. D. Lyle, the staff, the alumni, all our dear students and parents on this remarkable achievements. May our Lord bless this institution to prosper even more in the coming years. Thank you.